Just JOS3 says, let's talk about WTF DJ. What the F was DJ doing and why Davo thought he was the key to the game? I don't know. I don't know why, what DJ was doing. I don't know why Dabo thought he was the key to the game. Uh, clearly, he was not. DJ was clearly off tonight again. He threw several passes behind the line of scrimmage, screen passes that were incomplete because of his inaccuracy. So, um, not exactly sure why he was the key to the game. I don't know if Dabo said that in his press conference, but if he did, I don't really understand that. Um, DJ was super inaccurate tonight. I think he was Syracuse-esque in his uh, accuracy. Uh, maybe he didn't turn the ball over like he did against Syracuse, but at the same time, he threw a lot of incomplete passes behind the line of scrimmage and – there's a problem with that, right? So, L. Scott gets in and said, Cade needs to start next week. Okay, so are you guys saying Cade needs to start next week because Clemson is out of the college football playoffs? Uh, in my opinion, look, I don't think Clemson has uh, any chance of being in the college football playoffs with this loss tonight. So is that why you're saying that, L. Scott? Or are you saying that because of what transpired on the field with Notre Dame or a combination of both? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, DP gets in, says, do we need another top quarterback coming in next fall? I can't remember. Or, or do we have another top quarterback coming in next fall? I can't remember his name. I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest, DP. I don't follow recruiting very much when it comes to Clemson football. I follow Clemson football very much. But when it comes to recruiting and those type of things, uh, not really my thing. Uh, I don't follow recruiting very closely. Uh, Crazy Boy 12 gets in and says, Go Irish. Hey. It was a good night for you then, fella. It was a good night for you. Scott Moss says, Tennessee lost tonight. So we, so we are not the only top, team, top four team losing. No, we are not. Uh, but we did get blown out. So not exactly uh, um, a really good uh, prize there. Coaching staff, whom are trying to lean, uh, learn their identity while filling staff positions uh, that were vacated by coaches who made us tough group that lost. Natties and one Natties together as a family. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we, we did lose some – very key positions in the coaching staff. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, and I don't think it's necessarily a good thing, okay? Reason being is I think a fresh set of eyes are always good on a program like Clemson that has been on the top for so long, and I don't think Clemson exactly got a fresh set of eyes on the program, if that makes sense. To you guys. Uh, so I would like to see a fresh set of eyes on the program. I would like to see Clemson kind of reinvent their offense. I think their offense has become kind of stale. I think defense has um, not really responded exactly how we would like them to uh, with Wes Goodwin. Um, they have kind of been kind of, you know, da, you know, whatever. Uh, one loss doesn't mean it's over. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Jonathan Cox, one loss does not mean it's over 
for the season. I think we can still accomplish some things with our season. We can obviously still win the ACC. Uh, that's very evident. Uh, I think we locked up the Atlantic tonight. Uh, but at the same time, I think as far as the college football playoff goes, uh, Clemson is a no-go for the college football playoffs. That's just my opinion, Jonathan Cox. If you agree with me, get in the comment section. Let me know why you disagree with me. Uh, let's see. How can I chat with you, though? You can chat with us here. Uh, I just read your comment. So we're, we're, we're here. We're, we are here. L. Scott gets in, says, we lost our swag because we play like crap. We did play like crap. We absolutely played like crap. Um, did we lose our swag? Maybe a little bit, uh, but I think Clemson is always all in. I think we will get our swag back, and uh, maybe we won't make the college football playoffs this season. Actually, we definitely – won't make the college football playoffs this season. But at the same time, hey, it's still all in. We're still Clemson. And uh, we are still a great team uh, when it comes to college football. So Edward gets in and says, Cade still plays like he's on a – he has on a purple jersey. Yeah, so Dabo has, um, has alluded to that. When it comes to Clay, that he, when it comes to Cade, that he has the purple jersey syndrome. Um, and he thinks he can kind of get away with everything because he wears and um, does everything with a purple jersey and practice and everything like that. So hopefully he can be broken of that and uh, he comes in next season much better them with that purple jersey syndrome. Uh, King Matt gets in, says, that wasn't to you, brother. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're responding to somebody else. Uh, Chris Brown gets in, says, no Deshaun, no Trevor, and wide receivers aren't quite the same monsters we had before. I'll agree with you, Chris Brown. Um, our wide receivers are clearly not the wide receivers of the past. We don't have Deshaun Watson. We don't have Trevor Lawrence at quarterback. Okay. So it's a completely different Clemson team. But at the same time, uh, we have the same expectations for this team. So um, while I agree with you, I do agree that the expectations should be the same because that has what that is what Dabo Sweeney has set for this team. And they got to make it happen. Look, the coaches, the players, so on and so forth, they got to make it happen. Uh, so, no, DJ is not Deshaun. DJ is not Trevor. And um, Bo Collins is not Mike Williams, so on and so forth. But they got to make it happen. Um, that's just how it is. Look. The standard is set at Clemson, and um, it just is what it is. 